Welcome back to the channel. My name's Nigel. This is Double Zero Garage. And as you know, we had a bit of a storm at the weekend up here in the north of England, in Northumberland. And I suffered some damage. Mind you, it was nowhere near as bad as some of the other people that suffered a lot more damage than I did. But the damage that I did receive, albeit minor, it was still gutting. I think Storm Malik came first and Storm Malik was definitely the one that did the most devastation in various areas up in the north of England. Um, I didn't escape it unfortunately. Here's some details and some footage of, well, the aftermath of Storm Malik. As you can see, the actual garage roof is made of corrugated steel, or at least corrugated steel panels that are galvanised and are all 12 foot long and weigh quite a bit. And then, as you move further across, you can see there's a lack of panels on this end of the garage roof. Now the reason for that is that they're all sat here in my storage area. And the reason for the old door and the roll bar is to hold them down in any more wind that we get. The worst part about it is I'd start putting a post in and obviously the work along there in order to extend the garage over to the far side there joining to the shed. It's a shame I didn't start with the roof really but and this is how the garage looks inside guys. There was no roof there, daylight over there daylight coming in there and obviously we've got some damaged joists it's not looking very good at the moment the green rope you can see in various places is actually holding what's left of the roof in place and so I can get uh, get a chance to get it looked at and get it all fixed it's a bit of a mess guys so that's the damage to the garage courtesy of the storms of the weekend storm Malik it's made a right mess of the garage guys still Work to be done, keeps us busy, and it makes extra content for you guys to watch. Let me take you out the front and show you what the damage was. The total amount of damage that I had after the storms of the weekend was this fence and that gate was snapped and down completely. I just finished the day putting it back up, albeit temporarily, but at least it's in place and it's a little more secure than it was when I got up this morning. However, where the damage actually really happened. Now I know the bonnet is all patinaed and I like it that way. But I could have done without having that particular scratch and scuff there. But the major damage happened to this, my charger. Now, there's a scratch there where one of the panels clipped it as it blew over the side. There's a small amount of scuffs on the bonnet, but the main part and the worst part for me is the fact that it hit the roof, sliced the vinyl roof open and left it flapping around in the wind. Now although I didn't get any video footage of the panels getting blown off the garage roof and just thrown over here, as you can imagine, I was a little bit busy at the time. Uh, I did get a photograph of what this looked like after the panels had sliced across the top of it though. So I'll post that photo here so you can see how bad the actual damage was. Now I know that compared to some people, this is minor damage and it's nothing to be worked up about. I mean, at the end of the day, they are just cars. They might be very nice cars and they might be old cars, but they're still just cars and they can be repaired, they can be replaced. And we will recover from this and they will be repaired. So there's nothing much there to worry about. On the fortunate side, for me at least, none of the windscreens got broken. There was a Mustang sitting in the corner uh, over the weekend as well, and that also got hit by one of the panels. It's uh, scratched the windscreen, although albeit, albeit not deeply, and scuffed the, roof, the paint on the roof, scuffed the paint on the bonnet. But it survived relatively unscathed. Uh, like I say, the three cars were parked right in front of the garage, 
no broken windscreens, no major damage, nothing's happened to stop the car running. To be standing in the house and watching as 12 foot steel panels just are thrown across the top of your car, you just feel so helpless. The vinyl roof on the charger was the original 1968 vinyl roof. And yes, I can take it off, I can do any repairs that need doing, have the roof replaced. But well, it's not going to be the original 1968 roof anymore, is it? And the four panels that are left on the garage roof at the moment, they've been secured. But that's only a temporary thing. Uh, I really do need to get the roof sorted out and get everything else sorted out. So there's some work to be done. So you'll get to see more garage update content. And hopefully it won't take too long to put it back together and sort it all out. And hopefully it won't cost too much money. I'd also like to take this opportunity to say hello to my new subscribers that joined over the course of the weekend. Thank you for doing so. I hope you're enjoying what you've seen so far and I hope you continue to enjoy the content that I put out. Thanks so much for subscribing. I really do appreciate each and every one of you in supporting the channel by keep clicking on the videos and watching them. Don't forget to ring the bell and then YouTube will notify you of any future content that I put out in order for you to be able to watch that. Thanks for now guys. See you next time on Double Zero Garage. Bye-bye.